Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime YouTube channel. So today we are going to build a streamlit application that will correct the grammar and spelling mistakes uh, in your text. So we are going to use streamlit, we are going to use ginger it or ginger it, a python library uh, that will help us correct the uh, grammar and spelling mistakes in your text. Right? So let's see. So as you can see, right, I'm on my VS Code. So what I will do, I'll create a new folder inside this project di directory, and I will call it spelling and grammar mistakes. I'll open it, I'll open my terminal, I'm on my Ubuntu machine and I'm going to create a virtual environment inside this. You can see I have a VENV created. It works similarly in Windows as well. So I will go inside VENV and bin. And if you are on Windows, you might have to check this one when you are trying to activate a virtual environment. You have to go inside scripts and then you have to activate in in, in Ubuntu or any other Linux machine. You have to go inside bin and activate it. So I'll do source activate. And you can see in the right hand side, I have this VNV activated. So what I will do now, I will just do a cd dot dot, cd dot dot, and then I will create couple of files that I need requirements.txt and app.py and I will open this in VS Code perfect so you can see I have this in my VS Code so I have requirement.txt and app.py right so let me just shut down all the notification so as I said, right, it will use Ginger IT or Ginger It, which is a which is a made a wrapper around a software. Let me just show you. You can see, right, this is this is a software uh, that Ginger IT has a lot of use cases here. They have APIs as well that you can use. It's, they also have a premium paid one, but we also have a wrapper okay around this that you can use it uh, as a Python library. Very limited, like couple of limitations that I can tell you is that uh, it, it only accepts around 500 words you cannot give more than 500 words uh, it will throw you an error uh, for the API limitations so you can download it from here uh, using PyPy and I'm also going to use Streamlit I hope uh, you guys are aware about Streamlit uh, you can see the documentation is here let's do one thing let's go back to VS code in my requirement.txt I will define this packages so I have to install it so ginger it this is what I need so I'll go back to my terminal and I will do a pip install pip install uh, requirements.txt you can see it, it's the streamlit and ginger it being downloaded or being installed here all the packages and modules it might take little time depending on your internet bandwidth so let's go back to make it turn so let's go back to app.py here we will write our code so it will basically uh, we need a text area or text input where uh, you will end user will submit their uh, text that they want to first detect and then uh, correct it and that that might be a grammar or spelling mistakes right so uh, just let's see you can see they're installed successfully now uh, let's head back to vs code and let's write some code so we'll first import streamlit streamlit app ht and then we need Ginger it dot ginger it import ginger it perfect so we'll write the uh, uh, 
function separately the text correction function so let's define a function called f text correction and so excuse me we'll give a text here and then we'll we need an input text let's call the variable input text that will be our text then we need to declare this method in your head in a parser and then we let's declare a variable called result parser dot pass parser dot pass in input our text variable that and it will just return the result so this is a very basic function we can also use you know some kind of uh, text cleaning we can use text cleaning if you think that there might be uh, the emojis or some stop words uh, in your text that you have you can also uh, use some kind of regex a regular expression or a natural language toolkit to handle those but we might do that in the next video in this video I just want to show you a simple uh, extremely app that will uh, take an input text and in return will give you the correction of your spelling and grammar mistakes now let's write the stimulate functions or the code so we'll have uh, we'll, you don't need main function but it's better to run the code inside a main function so main and then what we can do we can just write uh, and stimulate is pretty easy to learn you can go through the documentation very easy neat and clean documentation it was earlier treated as a flask uh, and killer okay but it has their own uh, capability flask has their own capability so uh, it's it, extremely is very helpful because the data scientists or the AI engineers they don't have that much of front-end capabilities uh, then that where, where it might require JavaScript and other web elements uh, knowledge so that's where extremely helps you train a model and you want to inference that model you can use extremely to do that so we'll do st, st dot uh, let's call it a header so I'll use this header and then type and I'll call, in, I'll call it spelling and grammar mistakes correction or maybe app that's it and uh, what we gonna do and let's then do if name underscore main and then this main so how you can run a streamlit application is very simple so what you have to do you have to come here and say hey streamlit run app.py as a file name and it will open you can see in url here right say spelling and grammar mistakes correction application so you have uh, there are options here right you can if you go to settings you can also change the some of the theme you can see light dark i prefer the dark one and that's why it is let's get back to the vs code again and let's write the code here now so we have a header what we need is the text area you can also have a text input if you want but that has uh, limitations of the number of tokens or words that you can uh, can uh, put in there i will i prefer a text area here because there might be 200 or 300 odd words that we want to rectify so what i will do i will do a text area uh, variable and i will do st dot text area i'll give a label so in this label i'll say hey enter your text excuse me enter your text and Text. we have a text area now so what we can do next we can say hey if text area is not none so if there's a value in, in text area we can now do one thing we can have a button so how we would declare a button so you call it ht dot button these are all methods so in button you have to give the name I will say the label as submit and then I will write the code here so what I'm going to do I'm going to write I'll first write ht dot write maybe just to input input uh, input text is right something like that okay 
and then we can so there are also some components so you can also use state or success maybe to say text area so it is our success text area now now it's let's uh, declare a variable called corrected text and in this we'll just call the function that we declared above right we wrote the function text correction that will be text area not that and once you have corrected text uh, you can just write the result so it dot write is basically print print method that we use in basic python right so in stream you can use the ht dot write method to do that so let's see uh, what it does right so i'll go back to you have a rerun option you can also select always rerun so it will change it dynamically but i will do a rerun here you can see now we have a text area kind of a short paragraph that you can enter over here and in this text area what i'm going to do i'm going to you know write something okay uh, maybe let's write something wrong what we can write so i can say ai uh, best i will make some spelling mistake air the best technology and it is it is used in industry heavily i will give this text and then we'll see what happens so when you hit the submit button it says the input text is you can see the text that you have you know yeah, you have submitted here right and in text you can see it gives the text and it also returns you the result it says ai are based technology and it is used in industry heavily right so heavily it means industry heavy and use used used and technology a technology practical application sometimes to compare industry it's also giving you some definition and it's also giving where it has a start right so i can see one thing this is good uh, but not exactly what i was looking for but it does the job okay you can see it it's it helps you find out mistakes like for example the spelling mistake here of technology it's returning the technology and it is used in the industry heavy so it, it was earlier it is used and now it, it is used so you can see couple of changes here now let's try something else blockchain is in trend lately and this this are these are the these are the benefit these are the benefit of work in the or rather in industry let's do that let's submit it again runs you can see input text and the text that you have submitted and so you can see the result right much better Okay. this is much better so blockchain has been in trend lately and this is the benefits of work in industry maybe work in the industry but it's fine it also returns you the definition right and where it has made the changes so this is how you can build a simple stingrid application that will take some input text and it will return you the spelling and grammar mistakes right so this is one way of doing it there are other uh, libraries and packages that you can use but we will see it next in, in the next video so what we are going to do we are going to also use uh, we are also going to deploy this we will create a docker uh, docker image and we will deploy it on maybe github or any other cloud provider like azure for example in in, in coming videos so that's all uh, for this video thank you so much for uh, watching this video and if you think if you like it please subscribe and share with your friends thank you so much